Welcome back to Spark on Sunday. My name is Stephen, and my guests have arrived. They've arrived from, from Westmere. That's right. Just down the road. If you keep going along here and going, 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 you get to Westmere eventually. Um, welcome to the show, uh, Verity George and Lisa Prager. Your second time, Lisa? Yes, second time. Thank you for having me back. And first time? Uh, sparkle Virgin. Virgin. You, you won't be a virgin for much longer. Don't worry. Oh, good. Um, but yeah, no, welcome to the show. Thank you. Steve. Now, part of the reason why I invited you guys to the show is because I've been frequent, frequent, free, frequenting, 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 huh. is that right word? Yes. I've been frequenting your establishment, which is a little bit spooky until you find out what it is. Um, tell us what your establishment is that I've become a regular at. Well, it's got something to do with these little white cups here. Yes, it is. What have, what have you got there? I don't, I don't know what they've brought me. They kind of walked in at last minute and I don't know what they've got. What have you got there? Well, we've got uh, iced coffees because... Iced. Iced because it's so very hot. Okay. Uh, and we have a coffee bar, an espresso bar actually. An espresso bar called Garnet Station. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. Can you get a hand it over? <laughs> Oh, look, it's even got ice in it. Oh, can I have one too? Yes, you can. Thank you. Cheers. Where's your whistle? Cheers. 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 Where are we Cheers, Chris. Cheers. I haven't heard that for a while. I'm not wearing any fun for I'm not. So tell us about uh, Garlic Station, because it's kind of new. So what, uh, where is it, what is it, and what's the ethos behind it? Ah, uh, well, the catchphrase is good for you, good for the planet. Good for you, good for our town. <laughs> so, Good for you. Yeah, we've been going six months now. Yes. And we are at the top of Garnet Road, next to Westmead Primary, and in between Larchwood. Oh, it hasn't got enough sugar. <laughs> I have a sweet tooth. Oh, yeah. Sugar, please. Have you any sugar? sugar? We need sugar. He is us. definitely not sweet enough. No. <laughs> It can be very bitter at times. So uh, that's another show. Now we're that's, another that's, a show. that's a documentary. That's a documentary. Back to where we are. Yes. Physical. <laughs> Next to Westmere Primary, by the pedestrian crossing, and a bus stop, in between Larchwood and Warwick, at the top of Garden Road. Right. A little standalone cowboy kind of esque. Yeah, because it's quite, it's quite an old shop, so well, yes, that, what was it before? Because well, it's like 100 years old, isn't it? Well, it's not quite 100, but it used to be an IGA. What's an IGA? Well, like a general store, store square, where you buy flour and butter Star. and it's old, An old, an old star, star mark, for those who and don't the, know. And we've had, guy, we've had people come back who are older now, who used to be the delivery boys. Well, actually, one of them's the um, district commander of the Auckland Police. And I was um, in court, you know, over some council issue. We got You're often in court, aren't you? Oh, dear, dear, dear. So quickly onto that subject. <laughs> <laughs> but it was enough that he was a delivery boy before he was the head of the Auckland yes. Police. So I did find that funny. How many times have you been arrested, Lisa Prager? Oh, no. I've, I've never been arrested. Been arrested. How many times have you been detained and frisked? Oh. I've been trying for years and I still can't get frisked. Well, darling, frisked many times. times. Stop. Um, no, only the ones, only the ones when I ended up on the front of the Herald, and that was... You've been in trouble with the people more than that, surely? Absolutely not. That's no, but that, they call me into training, so, you know. But we're here to talk about Garlic Station. Oh, no, that's all right. You can talk about your shady past. My still, look, just, just while we're on the topic, um, we will get back to Garlic Station. It's a fabulous coffee bar. Now, the reason why... Lisa, it gets in trouble is because you're very involved with local body politics, which well, is, there's nothing wrong with that. Well, so we might as well just agree. Good Let's talk about it now well, and get it out of the way. Lisa <laughs> ran for mayor. Can I just say, you can't get politics out of the way. Politics are a part of life. They cannot be separated from life. So, you know, okay, well, let's just finish talking about it before the next music video. Okay. And then after the next music video, we won't talk about politics again, okay? That's from my name. Local body. Um, uh, we, we can talk about Hillary okay. later. Now. <laughs> Who's body? Hillary. 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 Hillary or Obama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You ran from there? I did. And guess what? Here's the update. It's worse than it was before. Now you've got Banksy and um, Franco David Hay. And if you ever wondered who was really running the city, it's Franco. I mean David Hay. And the whole thing is essentially worse. You know, what we've discovered now is that their take per annum is $1 billion. And 850 million of that is spent on contractors. So you are being ripped off, really, people. And the bottom line is, you know, to get this information out of them, I've had to go all the way to the Auditor General and embarrass them by going, um, can you see there's a $4.5 million discrepancy in these two documents that are meant to be the same? 
And so the byproduct of that is that this information is being flushed out. And what you're going to eventually find is that <laughs> Fancy and the Boys, <laughs> darling, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Fancy and the Boys are basically just ripping the public off blind. And until you actually stop them, you're just going to keep bleeding. End of story. So. Okay, can I ask you a question? Quite a full on question. Wouldn't you have gotten in if you just become ran for council? Yes, but there's no there's no point in running for council when you have a situation. Yeah, but you can get in there. I'm in there. Someday. I'm in there. I'm in there. The reason you're having a royal commission in into place. orphan governance is that I busted a press um, release where all the mayors got together and said, "Hey, guess what? We're just going to create one big city, and you're all going to be happy, okay, okay?" And I went, "No, it's not okay." You can't suddenly just suspend elections because uh, the business boys are telling you to make it one big super city. The government will never let them have a super city, guarantee you. Well, too powerful, too many people um, in one place. Well, I hope you're half right. The, half the country's population in one city, the so government this, won't let it happen. This is an opportunity to, to tell people about yep. the submissions so they all can... Yeah. The Royal Royal Commission. That's right. right. This is the time when you can write. So what, is, so what is the Royal Commission on? The Royal Commission is looking into Auckland governance, and it's going. Do we need all these little councils, or should we have one big one? And the argument is, if you have one big one, that's just one big huge chop for the contractors to get a hold of. In other words, if my mate is in charge, then I can get the you know contract to do signage. But the positive like argument against that is that it will be more economical because you've got less red tape in there. Well, that's a load of rubbish. Bureaucracies create red tape. That's what they're yeah. there for. And until you get some honesty in the system where common sense is the um, common denominator, you're screwed. So really what you have to do is point out that the system itself is taking advantage of the public that doesn't really follow its own laws of open, transparent, accountable governance. Yeah, but how can you get it, everyone else out there who's watching this to do something about Both making a submission? <laughs> Both of them. Both of them. But all, you, all, I, all I can say is you just pick up a pen and you go, any issue, because there are thousands of issues. Oh. Um, yeah, probably, probably, probably can email. Go to There's the Auckland been, City have Council. Have you seen any of the ads? They've been in lots of the local papers. They've been in the newspaper. Do you read the newspaper? Do we still have that? <laughs> right. Okay, I'll tell you. We're digital, digital all the way. That's right. We're digital, but it's all there. And essentially, what you I just do, do, I do. You yeah. just write to the council, uh, attention, royal commission. Eventually, it gets to them, and you simply write about that issue that upsets you, which is the fact that they're cutting all the trees down, or the fact that they're ramming motorways through your property, or whatever no, that issue really is. Really, it's more about if you've got any solutions. Well, solutions would help, but simply uh, expressing your concerns about what's going on might alert them. They things. do need some help, though, with how to sort it out. It's true. Well, perhaps we could ask your viewers for any bright ideas. What? Yes, well, you could text us in 258, text to 258, text to cost 99 cents. If you have any, um, what, what, what do you want? Do you want uh, any the solutions? Great solutions. Solutions, solutions to, to the Auckland City Council. Oh, oh, otherwise, oh. can I just suggest, otherwise, you could go to Garnet Station. That's right. And yeah. speak in person to Lisa here. Or the urgent. Have a political conversation. Over, with a, little, your over a little iced coffee. And Garnet Station is located at. 85 Garnet Road, Westmere. Funny that. But um, let's have a little bit of um, little, a music video. The next music video is um, a flashback. Yay! Flashback <laughs> to what year? Oh god, it must be the, I reckon the 80s. Okay. Okay. Um, and after that we will talk, oh, I'm, I'm a little bit curious to find out what's in here. Um, we could talk a little bit more about politics no. later, although I did say Inside. we're trying to get it out of the way. Yeah, it's we're out of the way. We're going to keep it, we're going to look in here, the Tui. The Tui, Tim. Okay, hold it up. Hold it up. Okay, we're trying to see. This one, oh, tui, there's tui. a Tui there. Can we just get a quick shot of the Tui before we have a little bit of a, a retro flashback? Yeah, we're going retro. It's quite old now. I'm spotting. Does the Tui have a name? No. Oh, look at that. Tui Tui. Little Tui Tui. Oh, so you know how? Shirley gave that to us. Shirley. Good Shirley. on you, Shirley. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, Shirley, this song's for you. This is a little bit of Stevie Wonder, Part Time Lover, because it's, it's all I seem to find. Aww. <laughs> yes, Stevie Wonder.